Hello again, thanks for watching. My name is Joseph Catrona. This is another quick tips video from Go Engineer. Today's topic is version free variables. And this is a recently added feature that allows us to update variables for a file without having to check that file out. Another advantage is that it does not create a new version of the file. So this can be important for companies who have limited disk space. Or if you're just concerned that versions are being created beyond the, beyond the approved A revision or beyond B. If I have an approved B, it's possible that I don't want to change or create a new version of a file just to modify some data about the file, maybe the description or the cost. Cost is actually a very common example. Uh, some variables on the data card need to be very dynamic and change often. So let's go ahead and log in to my dev vault here and find a file. Now see, cost is one of the fields that I have available to me on the data card. Now, historically in Enterprise PDM, we always have to check out the file. In training classes, it's very common that uh, new users will be trying to type in maybe a description here and it's not working because I don't have the file checked out. Well, these new version free variables, as we can see, this file is not checked out to me. The version free variables allow me to update a cost without checking out the file. And again, no new version was created. I'm still at three of three, or maybe I update that to be 60, save it, and again, no new version is created. Now, a couple of caveats here. One is how do we specify who can and cannot edit these fields? So in the administration tool, let me point out, there are a couple of explicit permissions. So under the admin user or maybe even under a group, you want to give uh, administrators the right to update this. Then there's two permissions they need. They need a folder permission that allows them to edit version free variable data and there is also a state permission to edit version free variable data so as long as a user has both of those for the folder and the state that the file is in they will be able to edit that value as I have now if you're familiar with the data card editor you'll know that we can place these fields on the data card and those are attached to variables Taking a quick look at how we make a variable version free, I'll open up the variable editor. Just right click on variables and say open and I'll find cost here and note that there is an option to make any one of these variables version free. An additional option is when this version, because there is no new version of the file being created, does that change affect all of the history or just that latest version? One of the nice things here is that we can go ahead and update and allow update a field without creating a version, without having to check out, create a comment for that checkout, create that history. But another advantage is that this allows any one of these variables to be very dynamic. A couple of cautions. A new version of the file is still going to be created if you update these variables with a workflow action. So for example, if you update the cost or if you make revision version free and then you update the revision with a workflow transition, that will still create a version. Another caution is that if you check out the file or perhaps you already had the file checked out and you update the version free variable and then check it back in, those two examples will still create a new version. These version free variables are actually only version free if updated manually by the user and if the file is not checked out. So just a couple of things to be aware of, but I think these are going to come in very handy for users. They already are uh, to users that are aware of them. Uh, feel free to leave us a comment. Let me know what you think about version free variables. Is it something that you can use? Is it something that is going to be useless to your organization? Also leave us a comment if there's a video that you'd like to see in the future or any comments that you have. Again, thanks for watching. 